Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and a massive thank you to Philips who have supplied three monitors for me to unbox, set up today, and then review in a triple monitor setup. So I'm really looking forward to this. So let's get into the unboxing and setup phase first of all. So thank you to Philips who have supplied three great monitors for me to test and review here. The model number for these monitors is 240B7QPJEB. As you can see down the left hand side you've got Philips, it's from their B line. The monitor is 24 inch in size, the actual viewable size of the monitor is 24.1 inches and 61.1 centimeters. It's an LCD monitor with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. If we move to the right hand side here you've got crisp views, efficient performance with power sensor and underneath that you've got IPS technology with a wide range of colors for great viewing angles at every angle. You've got ultra narrow bezels and then you have a built-in power sensor that will save up to 80% worth of power while you're not using your monitor. So you also have smart image presets for this monitor that will easily optimize the images for whatever mode you choose and we'll go through that in the full review. Two other great features that these monitors have is a low blue light mode and flicker free technology. These monitors come with a smart ergonomic base which can be rotated, twisted, tilted, height adjustment to wherever you need it and I think that's ideal for especially when we're moving into a multi-monitor setup here. All three monitors have built-in power sensors as I discussed earlier that will save you up to 80% worth of power. It also has a built-in stereo speaker for our multimedia use and we'll be testing them out as well. Also these monitors will have a USB 3 hub which enables fast charging and also fast data transfers. These monitors have Smart Connect with the options of a display port, HDMI and VGA connections. One great thing I do like about we're living in an age now where we worry about our materials and the materials we use. So Philips Power Sensor Display uses 85% post-consumer recycled plastics and PVCs, BFR free. Housing is ideal for eco-friendly productivity. That's great that Philips are thinking about the environment as well as making a great display. So what I'm going to do now is unbox just one of them as it's a bit boring unboxing all three and then we'll move up into the setup phase and showing you how I'm connecting up to my MacBook Pro and also how you could connect up to other devices as well. So like I said if you do have any issues or any questions please drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. Before unpacking your monitor it'll just show you some little images showing you the best way to do it so you don't hurt yourself or even the display. So our monitor is laid down on a flat surface now so we can get into the unpacking stage. So as we open up here we can see all our connections and all our monitor stand and underneath will be the display. So what I'm going to do is move this to the side and we'll go through every component. Every component will be the same as in the other two monitors and we'll move into the setup stage. So first of all you have your quick start guide here then you have your smart control systems and also you do have a CD with drivers on here and manual as well. So next up we have our stand here that is ready to connect into the base and into your monitor, which we'll do shortly. You have your UK three pin plug. We then have an audio cable. Then we have a European power connection, a VGA connection cable here. Then finally, we'll have a display port cable. Then in this section of the unboxing, your final piece will be your stand. Then underneath, you'll see your locking nut here. So then we can mount the stand. So taking the stand and its base, what you need to do is line up that hole there at the front. So that's nice and lined up. Turn it around and you'll see the locking nut here. You'll then need to screw that into place. So make sure that's nice and tight. And as you can see, we've got nice rubberized feet here so we won't damage our desk. So there is our stand. Let's move in to the display. So here we can see the rear of our panel here. So we've got our ports underneath. So if I just lift this up, you can see the ports, but I'll go into more detail. So you've got VGA, you've got HDMI, and also you've got your display ports, audio in, and a headphone jack there. And if we turn to the side, we've got our USB hub. So on the back here, you can see the VESA mount connection. So you can put a VES amount into this if you so wish to. So to place our stand onto our monitor, what we need to do is just put the top two prongs in first. So you're gonna hear a nice strong click. 
like that and then your monitor is ready to stand upright and also on the back here you do have a cable management system so this is what the monitor will look like when standing up on its stand we've got to add a second and a third so that's what i'm going to do now power it all on and connect it up and then i'll show you when it's all set up again if you do have any questions or issues around this stage please drop a comment down below welcome back so we're all set up here with three monitors looking absolutely great i do love this massive setup here so at the moment we've got two Two monitors running from a thunderbolt to a display port and then one from the apple tv and then i'm mirroring to all displays so at the moment it's mirroring i am going to purchase an active cable from the hdmi slot into the third monitor and then this means we could have individual displays which will be ideal for me so please note as well before buying a multi monitors that your macbook or computer can actually run multi monitors some can only do two some only can do one some can do four some can do six you do have to be careful with energy consumption and thankfully these are a rating in energy and with the power sensors all turned on as well you can save up to 80% worth of power and also 85% of the display is made up with recycled materials which I think is awesome as well to be eco-friendly so the displays as well you can tilt move and adjust to the way you want as you can see I've got it in an arc here if you do have any questions or queries please drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help also you're going to find a review for these monitors as well in a couple of weeks time and i'm going to be testing them out individually and as a setup here i'm going to wrap it up here for the unboxing and setup this has been the unboxing and setup of the philips 24 inch monitors three of them a massive thank you to philips the model number for these monitors is 240b7qpjeb the link will be in the description thanks always for watching please remember to hit that like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all my latest videos from me ricky i'll see you very soon bye for now